Hello there, and welcome back to episode 9 of Sandwalls. And as you might already notice, there has been a lot of things happening behind the scenes between this and the previous episode. So, yeah, I expanded the city in short terms. We're going to have over here a nice and uh, spacious tavern, a dining hall for this level. Up here, I didn't do any changes, as I felt like this area of the city, with its majestic guild halls and everything, will be pretty well off on its own. I really like how it looks already. The only thing that I'm missing on it is uh, proper flooring, but one thing at a time. So this one, well, lots of bedrooms, what can I say? I kept on with the uh, symmetric building style, broke it up on this corner as I decided that these were the last two of these um, segments after that. We're going to do something different. And down here, well, an entirely new city area has been prepared. We have a couple of apartments in these two areas. And here again, a nice spacious dining hall and a miniature tavern. It is a really small one, but it fit so darn well into this little corner that I wanted to keep it. And as you can see here, there's already a raw blueprint for more. So the forges of sand walls will have also their people there. Probably we will go deeper. I do intend to go for a jeweler's quarter. And I think, well, yeah, we we have a couple of levels still that we can go deeper, so we should. I'm really not secure how good these will go off, but uh, here it goes. Now, let's see who our dwarves of the day will be. In the meantime, the guild halls here are coming together nicely. They are still a little bit empty. I feel like we need something new. Oh, look there! Our tavern keeper going for a artifact so let's see what Dastot has in on mind so uh, cut gems she came to a halt shining bars of metal skeletons so the first thing here is uh, we should check for bones and i would assume that this is the very first culprit so let's move on and slaughter some livestock. Well, let's see. Among the horses, we can take one of the stallions down. There it goes. So let's see how that'll play out. That should do the trick, I suppose. There it goes, the butchers. And off she goes, yeah. Just like I expected. Let's watch that for a hot second, so there's not going to be any further ramifications on that artifact. Would be a tragedy. Let's follow him. I'm very sorry. I really am a uh, little bit bad at uh, determining dwarven genders of their names alone. Not the easiest part for sure. Alright, so I think... He has begun a mysterious construction. So, judging from the ingredients, it's really un impossible for me to tell what it'll be. Dastot is a stone crafter, so he's also a clothier. Well, it's probably going to be some sort of a stone craft, I presume. Okay, so the meeting place has been uh, upgraded accordingly, and I think once uh, Libash is done with her work, this place will come up shiny. Cashew tree, baguette cut gem, tetrahedral tetrahedron. <laughs> That's a tetrahedric one. So, yeah, well. Octahedral octahedra. See, say, are you a little bit on the spectrum? This sounds so darn autistic. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not trying to shame here anybody. Yeah, yeah, the moment I dreaded has come. The toy hammer mandate. <laughs> I knew this had to happen. What are we going to do? 
this is uh this, this really uh freaked me out the moment i saw it <laughs> oh no all right the first thing we need are more craft stores workshops because currently dastot is blocking the only free one so yeah i i i really hope that a rock toy will produce what we're needing so, a mudstone figurine of Solon Polycross. What is Solon Polycross? The Baroness of the Banner of Shadow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Historical personality. Okay, so yeah, I I knew that the the, the reign of terror of Goden has begun the moment I saw that uh, export ban for Toy hammers. So let's see what a rock toy produces. I'm so afraid that this would. No. No, I don't want to have part in this. I want my mayor dead immediately. Because you see, we now have to do this every single effing time this uh, wonderful personality orders one of these until. We successfully have produced randomly a toy hammer. Let's see if I can make a specification. I can specify the material. I cannot specify the... Oh god. This is... Uh... Let's see if we... No. Okay. I am... I'm suffering inside. Pretty hard. I think this is the uh, most horrible noble that I've ever had in my entire Dwarf Fortress time. Well, to make matters worse, she ain't really a noble person. She's just a mayor. That's, uh, that, that's, that's the icing on the cake. So, uh, oh, damn. I don't like where we're at right now. <laughs> So let's hope that the next one will be a rock hammer, a toy hammer. Thank you. And uh, we can, we can, we can stop this. Well, at the end of the day, we can say we're doing it for the children. I guess that's a good thing. And somebody once said I should bring up toy stockpiles in the vicinity of Guild Horse. And this is the fortress. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's meant to be in this area um are we yeah toys okay naughty little box so yeah we got this i think we're going to paint another one of these there so well this has only begun well Anyways, let's see how this will continue. I mean, I am quite relieved that we uh, got this so far, and the caravan has arrived. Wonderful. So, wait a sec. The uh, Baroness Consort, uh, her name is Olin. I was wondering if we had a statue of hers. She's a legendary clothier. Huh. Well, there we go. So I decided that the remaining four slots for protagonist dwarves will be now reserved for people that stand out. I'm not going to give anybody a closer look just because anymore, because we have only four more slots. Another thing that I uh, brought up on my mind was, uh, you see the asterisks? I'm going to use them only for sand walls dwarves. For the next fort in the series, we're going to use a different symbol. Once we have a lot of people cycling around the world, I'm looking forward to see how many different symbols we have in the last fort of this series. I, I felt like this is going to be a fun little mini game for this series. Right on. Let's go downstairs and see how the work has uh, gone. Pretty decent. I also uh, clapped a uh, ton of stairwells in here in the hope of getting more water downstairs. I mean, it doesn't matter at all. It's just my perfectionism that wants to get this done. So, uh, well, toys we can. 
You see, that's the... We, we only have a 20% chance on every toy order to get a toy hammer. And they can order up to three of these at once. I... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Alright, so there's no more Cocadiel on the list. Where did I get that from? Was that a random thing? I can't remember anymore. So, almighty comment section to the rescue. If you know where that Cocadiel come from, came from, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, let me know. I'm looking it up on a uh, pronouncing uh, website then. Anyways, what could we order? Seriously, what could we order? So, tell you what, we're going to order a steel anvil. Because I want to have a memorial anvil for um, our from our original original mountain home. We have one OG anvil from the caravan. I mean, basically, it's presume it's safe to presume that this one comes from the home, but whatever. We haven't played it out yet, and we got one from the humans. Let's say the steel one is an upgrade from the caravan one. So we have two from the dwarves, one from the human. I'm afraid the elves won't provide one, so it's, uh, it's typical elves, good for nothing. But uh, well, let's lay down some siltstone floor. There we go. We needed those new apartments very, very desperately because we had such a massive influx of new people. I mean, storytelling-wise, I love this, that it happened, because it makes so darn much sense in the way that we uh, spun the tale, that uh, Sandwalls is a very popular refuge from for dwarves from near and far. So... <laughs> so why this? This one? Why did you spare that chamber? Tell me. Tell me, Rakust. Why not this one? beats me. The whims of Dwarven Miners. It's, uh, it's beyond any uh, any understanding. I bet he left this as the last one because he wants to drench his beard now in a barrel of uh, fine booze. That must be it. Alright, so the city expansions here are darned important. When we had uh, the last new arrivals, there were a lot of people sleeping in the dormitories. I mean, maybe I should bring up more dormitories in the uh, general sense of meaning. Maybe I'm not using that uh, feature enough. But, uh, well, we'll see about that. So, to me, it looked like the people hadn't uh, wouldn't have enough uh, rooms to sleep in. That's what it looked like to me. And I can't have that. Sand walls shall have a shelter for every dwarf knocking on its doors. Yes. Good. So let's head back to our guild halls and see how the work goes forward. Yeah, well, almost, almost. So... The art of Libash is obviously not really powerful enough to upgrade this place properly. But, you know, she, she has to get her skill from somewhere. Skilled is already pretty okay. Not the toy hammers. So, this is going to be really bothersome. And I'm so inclined to make some... Some, some tragic thing happened to the uh, mayor. This, uh, I cannot tell you. A, mu a puzzle box? Because here we have now we, we have now the worst case scenario, you see. Two of them. Or no, not the worst case scenario. Toy hammer number one. This one is a toy axe. I mean Yeah. I think this will be the fort with the most uh happy children that I ever had. So I guess that's not the worst thing. We fulfilled the task. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's that typical uh, water torture feeling where you 
where you are like uh, at first well it ain't that difficult isn't that is that even so horrible at all but uh, i can already feel that it'll drag me down the longer we'll do this so let's do a nice pattern there oh i just realized that this is bad these have to go they are not compatible this chair would be connected to this table and this table at the same time and uh we uh we can't have that with dwarves they there's a few of them that i i or i heard there are dwarves that like sharing a table as a character trait but uh i never saw that in action Anyways, we're going to make something like this here. And a miniature stockpile for bad food. There we go. And let's pick that up from the kitchens. Basic Dwarven Supply 101. Good, so we have now a fresh new dining hall, or at least almost, and 11 new bedrooms. Considering the fact how fast sand walls did grow, does grow, I'm afraid we're not done here yet, 11 bedrooms sounds like a horrible small amount to me, and that's because it is. So, yeah, we still have a long way to go. So, we need a chest for this tavern, and we need a stockpile for drinks. There we go. Same procedure as before. Picking up from the big booze stockpile, and strapping up another tavern really feel like that's extremely important to have now more and more culture and uh i feel like how to put it when you have different booze holes in town where you can get yourselves a prefer uh, preference for so melville the miller you're going to take the job then then the city really grows alive doesn't it so melville the miller is now a tavern keeper so well since he's neighbor to the mayors let's check out his uh he's friends with an elf that's very very uh troublesome is the next mandate on us what's that frequency of toy hammers sheesh how dare they this is, uh, this is really too much. Stop torturing me, so. I mean, seriously, we need to uh, make this uh, mayor go if this keeps on like that. This is, uh, this is uh, real torture. I never had one that uh, was such a pain. Just realize that without the uh, command to pick up from that stockpile, the uh, people won't pick up the toys from there. So, yeah, I think the easiest uh, way will be to just uh, order them manually and then uh, wait out the production cycle and see if the mandate is fulfilled after. I think that's the safest bit to weather the storm. I, I... I hate this guy. Girl, whatever. I don't know. This is... Uh... Well, it's a good thing that we have the mayor's uh, apartment in the vicinity of the cistern. So, the forgotten beast who sails Liptulazot has come. The towering quadruped composed of snow has a long curtain horn, on, I'm sorry, and it squirms and fidgets. Beware its deadly spittle. Well, 
Forgotten Beasts usually are subterranean, and this one is a denizen of the third layer of the caverns, which is, uh, to my own knowledge, not open. Nope. So, well, nothing to worry about, right? It's not happening in our part of the world. Yeah. But in all honesty, I wouldn't be too afraid of that monster as a monster composed of snow isn't typically the most resilient one. Anyways, so let's check back with the guild halls. We uh, agreed to uh, make them shine. And yeah, that place ain't ready yet. But look at that. People of this place are happy. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the fort has been upgraded. It now looks terribly like something out of Space Invaders, doesn't it? I saw this shape and I immediately thought of, of Space Invaders. Let me know what you think. But uh, I wanted to have this uh, fort finally on some impressive shape. And I think we're going to stick with uh, this kind of shape. This is, uh, we're going to build around that. We're currently putting a lid on it again. And let's see how things will go. So let's check out Melville, the uh, tavern keeper. I almost skipped Melville, but then I saw that Melville is a friend with an elf. So there might be story coming out of Melville. So, Melville Vessel Castle. So, came on the spring of the year 102, saw a new face to the city, believer of Rahal. She's very greedy. She does not generally respond. Oh, there's a new squad of immigrants. She does not generally respond to emotional appeals. She's quite comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture. She likes to take it easy. Yeah, that one with the uh, different appearance or culture, that uh, is really noticeable. She likes a little excitement now and then. She's really happy or enthusiastic. And she's conflicted by this, as she values parties and merrymaking in the abstract. Oh, she's an excellent uh, barkeeper. She isn't particularly ambitious, she is quick to anger, and she tends to avoid any physical confrontations. She works to square this natural tendency with a respect of martial prowess. So, she can't party, but she would like. She gets angry quick, but she can't have violence, but she would like to. <laughs> what an odd one. She prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible. She tends to form only tenuous emotional bonds with others, and she is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. She generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. I really like Melville. She's a very likable uh, character, and I can somehow relate very much to her. This whole being drawn to something but uh, being bad at it thing, that, uh, that's something I can vibe very strongly with, so welcome. Oh no, more toy hammers. So, this is, uh, this is terrible. I hate it. And I hate it already. That's the worst part about it. But I sincerely think that uh, this game should have an option to just assign the direct order to make toy hammers. <laughs> I mean, I take it as a as a fun little challenge of the game. Anyways, so we have a legendary weaponsmith by now, and a legendary clothier. All right, I'm just checking on the local talents. So Das taught the. Tavern Keeper is also a legendary stone crafter. Yeah, well, talents come together. Practice makes legends. Yeah, and the Lacy Labors are done. I, I love the name Lacy Labors. It is so misleading. <laughs> the Crafts Dwarves Guildhall. So, tell you what, we're uh, going to 
amp up the, the fancy here and get ourselves two of these in. And most importantly, everybody out of the city can visit this place. Very important for guild halls as it makes them a much merrier and uh, strongly visited place. You'll notice it immediately. What do we have here? Thrunhound Stable. No, we're not taking parts. Not yet. Maybe one day. Not, not, not today. Okay, so... I think the request for Toy Hammers has been uh, fulfilled. So, let's do some fun things. So, the jeweler. Another jeweler is going to sit here. And I feel like I want to do something here. And we're going to do work orders. You take items from here and from here. Yeah, that's good. And now... Let's encrust some with the uh, with finish uh, some something with gems. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. And that uh, decorated shale toy hammer will be put into the uh, bedroom of the mayor. Let's make ourselves an iron. Where is it? Aren't they called pedestal? Display. No. Ah, uh, I think they are among the uh, other objects, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why should they be among the furniture items? <laughs> that would be too easy. All right. So this is a this is a meme jeweler's workshop, okay? Its sole purpose is to decorate toy hammers and uh, other things. A goblin is visiting. So we need to take a look at this uh, buddy here. We get a very very weird feeling when goblins visit us. But obviously they uh they come from the neighborhood. The cruxes of wickedness. This guy was around already. Looks darn scared with his axe. We got an eye on you, my friend. We got an eye on you. And Omek Decline Treaties. Oh, what a name. So, this one comes from the cruxes of wickedness, too. They are a nomadic group. So, it kind of makes me wonder. What is it with these folks? So... I mean, shouldn't goblins have a uh, own distinct set of values? This is uh, here. There it is. Ah, we just didn't know anything about her. So. What should we do with goblins in our fort? They are clearly spies, but uh, what should we do? We cannot just uh, murder everybody entering our fort. And the frequency of toy hammer mandates is insane. I think those were what? Four? Or three? Three for sure. I feel like it was four. But I think it was three. Jeez. Golden. You are not really uh, making yourself have uh, a happier here anyways let's put down that display so yeah boy hammers this haunts the series I mean, I I am well aware of the fact that you can't just straight up murder people like uh, like that. 
A lot of Dwarf Fortress players tend to do that, but I personally don't like that. I really feel like this is easy cop out. I mean, if I would be playing it off camera and just for the sake of uh, my own pleasure while building a fort, I can totally get that. But for our story here, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to kill this uh, dwarf. She's a protagonist, I cannot change it. We're uh, not going to kill off a protagonist, aren't we? That's uh, unacceptable. <laughs> so here begins the reign of the toy hammer. So my friends, I thank you all for watching. It is my pleasure and sadly we have to find an end for today. So that shale toy, ha toy hammer will decorate her uh, her bedroom. I mean, the, the iron pedestal alone already uh, increased the value enough. Obviously a hundred bucks were all it took. And snatchers are showing up. I don't think it'll, uh, it'll end too well for these. So. I was about to outro when you showed up, you fool. So, thanks for being around. You guys, I really, really appreciate. And drop me your comments down below. I'm really, really eager to hear back from you. As usual, a thumbs up would be really awesome for the algorithm. And check out also the subscription and the description box. There's plenty of links to go around there. Join my Discord, I'd be really eager to hear back from you there. Join my Twitch, where I stream on Fridays and Sundays in the evening hours of the Middle European time zone. And of course, check out Patreon, Paypal, or buy me a coffee. I'd be really delighted if you check these out. There's also YouTube channel membership, which allows you to preview all the Dwarf Fortress goodness that I pre-record. And I tell you, it, it is often quite a lot. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be really happy if you gave them a look. Apart from that, a big thanks to everybody supporting this channel and a big, 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 big thanks to you right now watching this video because that's outright really amazing because you went through all the ads, all my stuff in between and you listened through the entire episode. Thanks and have a nice day. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.